friends, I am in the kitchen today because a lot of times in August and the beginning of September, garden days look a lot more like kitchen days. Today we are dealing with eggs. So I have got some eggs. First of all, this is my working kitchen. I did just clean it, but pretty much the canner, the pressure canner lives here full time. The urban garden cat, Gracie, hanging out in her basket. I've got tomatoes on there. I've got calendula over there. That's full of peppers, random zucchini, wherever they will fall. <laughs> uh, my Instant Pot lives on the counter. Everything just kind of is in a state of motion. I did just clean it. Normally there's lots more dishes in the sink and the dishwasher's running, but back to eggs. So I have got a glut of eggs because I have got a friend that has a ton of chickens and she just filled me up because my chickens are still pissed off at me for all the chicken jail nonsense. So um, I've got washed and unwashed eggs. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do whenever I have too many eggs of my own or anybody else's washed eggs. I always cook them up, a lot of them. So I'm gonna take them and put them in my Instant Pot. This is the best way to hard boil eggs I've ever found. Okay, friends, this is so easy. I'm literally, I just put a cup of water in the bottom of my Instant Pot. I got this little tray in here. You wash your eggs. These were already washed. And you just line them up in here. And I'm gonna fit, as many will fit in here. And what we do with hard boiled eggs is I actually just peel them and then I leave them in a container inside of the refrigerator. And what happens most of the time is people take them for lunches. So I pack one in the kid's school lunch. Logan grabs a couple on his way out the door to work. Brett will pack some in his lunch on the way out to work. And if there's a lot of them, like there will be now, I might make them um, a side with dinner one night. I might bring them out and have them for dinner. Or I might take some and make a batch of deviled eggs as a side with dinner. Now I'm not gonna do that right now. Right now I'm just gonna get them all hard boiled and get them in the fridge so that they're available. One cup of water, put them in here. I'm gonna seal her up. Ooh. And then hang on, let me pick you up here. And I'm just gonna pressure cook them on high pressure for five minutes. And then I'm going to let them naturally release for five minutes and sit and then at the 10 minute mark, I will let the steam out and let them sit for five more minutes. It's called five, five, five. All right, so those are going. That made use of, let's see, a dozen, and I fit five, so that was 17 eggs that put in there. And I've got eggs back here that are unwashed, and I'm gonna try pickling these. Okay, step one, I need to get an ounce of pickling lime in here, and this is what I'm using, pickling lime from Mrs. Wages. I've measured my jar. It is just under one pound. I need to get to one ounce of pickling lime. So I'm just gonna take a spoon, one-handed. Listen, I'm not the best YouTuber in terms of camera work. I'm glad you guys like to watch anyway. Whoa. All right. All right. That is not quite enough. A little more. Zoop. All right, that is. Okay, so I've got an ounce of pickling lime in this jar, and I'm gonna fill this jar up with water. It's one ounce of pickling lime to one quart of water. So we're just gonna turn the water on and fill her up. And I've read pickling lime can um, be kind of caustic on your hands, so if you've got sensitive skin, maybe do this with gloves. All right. And then it's supposed to look like milk, which it does. I need to mix it up. So I need a whisk. Hold on. Doop -de -doo. I'm right handed. Let me switch. And you're supposed to mix this all up. And the next instructions I read was add your eggs. Well, this is a full quart jar. So I'm going to pour half of it in each one of those quarts behind me. Carefully. And I'm gonna start adding eggs. 
Now, when you add your eggs, they need to be unwashed because you need the bloom around them still or they will go bad. Okay, I had to use two hands, so I set you down. I have found that putting in the liquid and then the eggs does not work for me in these quart jars because they don't all stay at the bottom. It's a problem. So for me, I found it was easier to put my eggs in first and make my pickling liquid in a, another quart jar and then just carefully fill her up. You're supposed to make sure that the pickling liquid covers them by about two inches. I'm just gonna top them all off since I got more liquid. Make sure everybody's good. And then you seal them, label them, and this is what they look like. So that's the one I just did. It's still all settling. The first one I did, you can see the lime is all settling and that is okay. So I got between six and seven eggs in a quart jar. I will definitely, if this works and I like it, I'll be buying larger gallon jars to do this in. But as an experiment for a first try, this is gonna work out. So I'm gonna get some covers on them and get them labeled. So I'm just sealing them with bands and old, um, old lids that you can't reuse. You can't use canner lids when you can, but for this purpose, this will keep this night and and tight and airtight and I'm just gonna stick some stickers on them and relabel them and put them downstairs. Ta-da! Don't those look cool? I'm sure this works. Everyone online does it. I'm very excited. In theory, it's supposed to be like that egg is a fresh laid egg. The only difference I've heard is if you want to hard boil these when you pull them out, you should poke a hole in them because the lime seals all the pores and they could explode as you cook them. But other than that, these slightly over two dozen eggs should be safe downstairs for over a year. And this is how people would get eggs in the winter time when their chickens stopped laying. So I'm gonna do this as much as I can until fall and uh, yeah, that's exciting. I love it. All right, you can see our pressure canner is on L2, which means it is done cooking for the five minutes. It's on, wait until that hits five, and then I will release the pressure on the back and let it sit five more minutes, and then I will take those out and put them into a cold bath and go ahead and get them peeled. Here, this is a much more accurate depiction of my kitchen counters during the day. <laughs> so now I gotta clean up. A few other ways that I use eggs when I have a bunch is I make up breakfast burritos. So I'll mash a whole bunch of eggs, wrap them with um, some cheese, maybe some bacon or some veggies into tortillas and I'll make up a giant batch of breakfast burritos for the week. Or I will crack eggs into uh, muffin pans mix them all up and scramble up, add a little bit of cheese and meat onto those and bake them until they're set. And I'll get English muffins and make breakfast sandwiches. That's another way we use them. Uh, pretty much one of those ways has always worked for me, but I am very excited about these guys. This could be a game changer here. All right, I hope you enjoyed my egg experiment today. I will let you know when we use them the next time, how great they are. And I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you soon.